It is Wednesday, June 3rd of 2020. And uh, I am really, really just on a ramble roll this morning. Right here on Guy's Daily Drive. And good. Sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And good Wednesday morning. I hope all of you are having a wonderful week and that uh, things are not crazy in your part of the world. Things are a little bit crazy pretty much everywhere, so hard to say. In my preamble ramble before I started the show, I was talking about how tired I am. It's been two nights since I've had a good uninterrupted amount of sleep. So if, uh, if I drift off, <laughs> middle of, of doing Guy's Daily Drive, you will know why. And by drift off, I don't mean falling asleep. Okay. I just uh, stopped at uh, Krispy Kreme because it is Wednesday, which means I'm going to be meeting with a friend of mine at work, and we're going to consume some donuts while we work. And that's always fun. So I got um, two glazed, two lemon filled, and two uh, raspberry filled. And this week, if you have a Krispy Kreme near you, this entire week is donut week. Which means that um, I think if you get at least a half dozen donuts, they give you a, a free glazed one. So here's my, here's my free glazed donut along with the six that I already got. And I ended up getting donuts yesterday as well. Here's, you know, things don't last forever. And I'm sometimes surprised by how much time has passed when you, when you consider having to buy something new to replace something that you've had before. In this particular case, it was a coffee, coffee maker. So going way, way, way back, I had a, uh, my wife and I had a coffee maker, a programmable, and the reason why I like programmable coffee makers is that I can set it, and when I get up, I have a fresh pot of hot coffee. So I have mine set to 4.30 in the morning. So when I get up at an hour later, it's already done. I got coffee. And the original programmable coffee maker that my wife and I had, and this goes back to late 90s, early 2000s. It was a KitchenAid one, and it it was fairly expensive at the time. And it was great. And, and the, the weird thing about this coffee maker is I was watching, my wife and I were watching, this is when the show was still on, we were watching an episode of Two and a Half Men. And one of the set scenes that they had was uh, in the kitchen. And in the earlier seasons, if you look at the coffee maker that they had, it was the same one that, that my wife and I had. And when I first saw that, I was like, wow, they're using the same coffee maker that we had. Look, honey, it's a coffee maker and it's on TV and it's the same one we have. To which my wife replies, don't be an idiot. Who cares? <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's, it's just, these are the things. And if you've listened, what is this guy doing? Why are you stopping? Oh, 
Oh, for God's sake. The guy just stopped. Like he had a red light in that intersection. Sorry about that. Stupid people. Stupid people behind the wheels of cars driving multiple ton metal metal made machines of death. Uh, but if you listen to the My Mac podcast, this is part this is one of the things that makes Gaz crazy is that Gaz will say something and that will trigger something in my head and I kind of need to say it when it when I get, when it gets triggered and it's part of um, I guess you he calls it OCD it very well could be it but it's it's just like okay well this thing has been said and, and now this thing is in my head and the only way to get it out of my head is to say it and then once I say it it's gone but anyway getting back to coffee makers because that's just so fascinating. I love it. The direction that today's guy's daily drive is going. So we had the, the two and a half men coffee maker for a number of years. And like most things, it finally, it finally bit the dust. I don't remember exactly what happened to it, but it just, for one reason or another, stopped working. So I go out and I get another coffee maker and it was red. We had a red coffee maker from Mr. Coffee. And we had that for years and years. And finally, yesterday morning, um, you know, especially since since my son Guy hasn't been at home, a full pot of coffee is too much for my wife and I, but not always. So if I'm gonna make a pot of coffee, I make a full pot of coffee. And sometimes there's leftover, and I will just reheat it for the next day. Now, true coffee aficionados would be freaking out. Oh, it's, it's stale. It's like, I don't care. It's hot. It's got caffeine, and it tastes somewhat like coffee. Who cares? So I got up yesterday morning, or I was already up pretty much yesterday morning, and poured a cup of coffee, and I was surprised like this was 5 36 in the morning that it wasn't warm but i didn't think about it at the time or at least not yet so i warmed the coffee in the microwave and drank it and, and i was like okay and then that was pretty much it for that pot of coffee when my wife got up it was like okay i'm gonna make a, a f- fresh pot so i put the coffee in the filter and I fill the reservoir and, and I go to turn it on and it beeps and it's doing all the things that it's supposed to do before it makes a pot of coffee except it didn't make a pot of coffee <laughs> it just sat there you know green light was on burner wasn't hot and you know to me it was like okay this thing is broken you know and coffee makers and, and small appliances like that are so cheap now so cheaply made that when they break it's, unfortunately, it's really not worth even going to get it fixed. It's, it's just landfill at that point, which is a whole other topic of, of discussion, but not today. So, later on, uh, I, I ended up going out to Krispy Kreme, got both my wife and I some donuts and a cup of coffee, which is where this whole thing started. And later on, I went to the Walmarts and bought another coffee maker. And this one, I think it's a Black and Decker. And, you know, I thought Black and Decker made tools. I, I, I don't know when they veered off into appliances, but they did. So it's it's kind of cool. It's got it, it's in a metal carafe instead of a, a glass one which means it, it retains heat better, in theory. I've only made one pot of coffee with it so far. And it makes a good pot of coffee. However, it, when you go to pour the coffee, you can't just tilt the carafe and have coffee come, come pouring in. Uh, one of the features of the coffee maker, or of the carafe, is that it keeps coffee 
warm or hot much longer than like a glass or wood, and it's because it's sealed. So you got to push this little button on the top, and then you tilt it, and the coffee comes out. The other problem I had was I couldn't get the top on because it doesn't just snap into place. You've got to kind of put it in off to about a 40, de 40 degrees off axis, and then you turn and you turn it back toward the rear end of the carafe, and then that kind of locks into place. And then you make the coffee, and it's, it's programmable and all that. And I haven't used the program feature yet all that much. Um, I did make a pot yesterday after I got it home, just to try it. And it was it was a good pot. It was you know good coffee. And I set the program up to go off or to turn on at 4:30 in the morning, like all my other ones. And it did turn on when I got up this morning, but it wasn't very warm. So I don't know. I think along with retaining the heat, it's it's pushing it away. Is I mean I don't know yet. It, it's too new to figure out. But that is my tale of coffee. Whoa weird thing to have a podcast about but there you go so if you are watching this on youtube i appreciate the fact that you have done so and if you could so that you will be notified when there is new stuff coming up in the feed go on over and uh you can either look for it through guys daily drive or vert shark or any number of ways there on youtube when you find one of my videos, just like, share, subscribe. And again, like, share, subscribe. And then you will be notified when something new comes out. Now, if you would like to contact me and have me talk more about appliances, for whatever weird reason you may have, email address is guy at mymac.com. Twitter is twitter.com forward slash macparrot twitter.com forward slash vert shark you can find nearly all of the various things that i do over at the newly redesigned and oh so less eye bleeding vert shark.com uh, i also do the mac to the future live cast on wednesday nights so hopefully i'll be doing one tonight unless i'm just too tired with warren sklar and david ginsburg I do the MyMac.com podcast with Gaz Maz on the weekends. And we've started filming it. We started recording it with video. So I've been putting that up on YouTube as well. Had a really good one last week. Uh, we were recording right as the Space Dragon rocket went off. And that was included in the podcast. And I got a um, copyright violation for that. How weird. How weird is that? I got a copyright violation for a space launch. Anyway, that is going to about do it for today. Thank you all so very, very much for however you consume this content. And I will see you probably this afternoon right here on Guy's Daily Drive. Bye-bye.